remember my rule. It says, what is the distance from negative eight to four on a number line? Our days are pretty set every day. We, we do a 45 minute, what we call PLT time. And the PLT time is platform. It's the focus area of it. It's the content. And what we try and do in that 45 minutes is that's where they're, they're getting their basics. They're, they're doing, like today, we were working on positive and negative integer operations. And then the second 45 minutes of class is project time. And project time can be funny. Like if I have a ma an active math project going on, then obviously we use it for the active math time. Um, but it can also be used for other classes. So if you're ahead on my project, but you're behind on your social studies project, you can actually use my math project time to work on your social studies project, which for teachers is a huge change because we're so possessive of time. That, you know, this is you know, like you, you, in a typical class you walk into and a kid maybe was, has something out from another class and the teacher will snatch it away and say, why are you doing your social studies in my math class? Now we sometimes encourage it because we'll see on the platform that their, their project for social studies might be due this week where my project isn't due for three more weeks. And we'll you know, talk to the student and say, hey, you know, I noticed that you're a little behind on your social studies project. You know, feel free to work on it during this time and then we'll, we'll work on the, you know, you'll do the math one at, at, you know, as time progresses. And so it's one of the things, again, that, that was a complete mind shift for us. He goes, um, what would you guys think about trying a new program, a, a completely new approach to teaching in sixth grade? And my initial response was this. And I'm just going to tell you what it was. My initial approach was this. The sixth grade at Larkspur is number three in the city. We're at 92% on the SOL. Why would I want to do anything different? Because right now, nobody bothers me. I can, we know what we're doing. We have a plan, we have a system. The system turns out really good test takers. And then I stopped and I said, but for years, I have said there's something fundamentally wrong with what we do. So I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't say I wanted to try something new. We had a little discussion amongst ourselves and I said, look, if we don't go there with the idea that we're gonna throw away everything we've always done and just embrace whatever it is they're trying to get us to do, if we don't do this, this will fail. It's a huge shift in how we do things. Before, it was always me in front of the classroom. And I was a very traditional teacher. I was the, you know, the, the, the dispenser of knowledge. You know, we would have this and I would be at the board and I would say, okay, everybody, you know, draw a coordinate grid, you know, put your y-axis, put your x-axis. Now, you know, okay, where would 10, negative three be? And I would say, okay. And so then I would say, okay, plot 10, negative three. And then I would run around the room going, yeah, that's right, yeah, that's wrong, yeah, that's right, that's right. And that, you know, that was my traditional way of teaching it. Before we would just be like, plot this point, plot this point. We taught them how to do something. We never taught them why they did it. And so this really brings forth the why behind why they're doing things. And it, it does it in a way that is, it makes them think on their own. The project takes it to a much higher level. Because before where it's just me telling them what to do, now it's them finding out why they're doing it. They're saying things like, now I can move at my own pace. Now I can find why I miss certain questions. And those are all the things they're finding in the new way that they now learn. That now I'm my own teacher, which if you're an educator and that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, something's wrong with you. How would I convince principals to take this step? We all think there's something fundamentally wrong with the system we're using. If we're all honest, that we would sit back and go, we turn out really good test takers, we're not turning out really good thinkers. Something has to change. And if, and if you don't try something different, why are you there?